Yeah, Time man, to think of the no answer. Problem. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a lot of people like, want to know what, what's happening in I'm Brunei. still, like, I've never been so busy in all my life and, like, I've been pacing out my life. I can do what I, not to do what I want to do. I, I, I can pick and choose what I've been doing and I've been spending a little bit more time with my family and seeing my girls every single day. So I'm just, as they say, just ducking and diving like simply like yourself. Keep myself fit every single day because I've been training with Jimmy McDonald with the circuit training, so I'm fit, you know? Right. You can relax now. The man's in the ring. There he is, Mike Tyson. This is the night he's waited for since his defeat. Henry Tillman's his opponent. Let's go over now to Las Vegas and join our commentators, Evander Holyfield and Sam Rosen. Welcome back to ringside here in Las Vegas. As you see, the former heavyweight champion of the world, Mike Tyson, in the ring, set to take on Henry Tillman. Mike Tyson's first bout since his February 11th loss to Buster Douglas in Tokyo. This is Sam Rosen, along with the number one heavyweight contender in the world, Evander Holyfield. And Evander, how does Mike Tyson look to you? He looked, he looked in great shape and looked like he was ready to go out there and fight and ready to prove to the people that uh, he had a bad night and that tonight he would have a good night. And across the way, 29-year-old Henry Tillman, who defeated Mike Tyson in the Olympic trials and the Olympic box-offs in 1984, and Henry is dwelling on that. He's trying to draw from that going into this fight. Yes, I talked to Henry early, and Henry told me that he'd ready to go out there and do the same thing that he did to Tyson in 84. He beat Tyson twice, and he beat Tyson because he was smarter than Tyson. He outboxed Tyson, he outmaneuvered Tyson, and, and he got and he got to see him. Henry Tillman went on to win the gold medal at the Olympics in Los Angeles in 1984. Mike Tyson went on to become the youngest heavyweight champion of the world in 1986 at the age of 20 when he knocked out Trevor Burbick in the second round to win his first heavyweight championship. He then unified the championship in 1987, going on to take the WBA and IBF titles and was the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world until Buster Douglas knocked him out in February. Now, the official introduction, let's go back to Chuck Hall. By the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the judges will be Chuck Ciampa, Art Lurie, and Dolby Shirley. Your referee is Richard Steele. The next bout of the evening, a cold main event of the night, featuring 10 rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 215 pounds, with a professional record of 20 wins, four defeats with 14 KOs, he was a gold medalist in the 23rd Olympiad in Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Henry Tillman. And in the red corner, from Catskill, New York, weighing 217 pounds. His professional record consists of 37 wins, one defeat with 33 KOs. He is a former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, Henry Tillman. It'll be interesting to see how Mike Tyson comes out. Will he be tight? Will he look for a quick knockout? Will he look to be very impressive? My speculation, I would think he would come out and try to finish the fight as quick as possible because he knew that uh, a lot is riding on this fight, and we can't afford to have any mistakes. Mike Tyson is a 30 to 1 favorite over Henry Tillman. Henry Tillman, who started his pro career as a cruiserweight, has fought only six times as a heavyweight and is 4 and 2 as a heavyweight. Scheduled for 10. Like I expect, Mike Tyson stalking and is on him. Henry's moving like I, I thought he would. And Mike Tyson is. It's out there in a hurry to take him out. Tillman got caught up in the ropes, but he's okay. Tyson just missed that left hook. Is he working his, working his hook off the left jab? Oh, good right hand with Henry Tillman. Tillman shaking up a little bit and trying to move away and stay away. But Tillman has not used the jab at all. He stumbled. Tillman looks nervous. Well, yes, um, right now, you're the first round. First round, um, you haven't got time to relax in that nervous energy sometime. 
uh, make you react quicker than you want to and make you move at times that you don't want to. Richard Steele is the referee. Which right now I think Tim is moving a little too much and uh, not taking his time. But hopefully uh, later on he'll settle down a little bit. He hasn't thrown anything. Tyson has been able to move in. There's the jab from Tillman. Tillman have very quick hands. And right now, right now he's not taking advantage of his quickness. He let Mike, Ty Mike Tyson dictate the pace, which could be a problem. Oh. Tyson with a right hand. And Tillman smothers him. And now Tyson's out there. He, uh, he, he dictating the pace, throwing good jabs. He's working behind his jab. And look like he uh, in his, his usual form now. All business. One thing he did not do in the fight against Buster Douglas. He didn't slip many punches. And walked in throwing hooks rather than the jab. You know, um, in the fight with Buster, uh, he let Buster dictate the pace and which caused him to lose the fight. Right now, Tyson is dictating the pace. Tyson weighing in at 217. And a good right hand again by Tyson. And Tillman trying to tie him up. Right now, Tyson is, is tearing off. Tearing off on Tillman. Tillman giving him time to set up and just throw bombs. And a right hand sends Tillman down. The count is four. The count is it's six. Over. It's over. Tillman will not get up. It's a first round knockout for Mike Tyson. A good right hand right on top of his head, uh, which uh, probably jams his neck. It's over. Tyson has rushed right over to help Henry Tillman up. In the middle of that crowd is Mike Tyson trying to help Henry Tillman. Well, Tim, Tim and Tyson have a good relationship. They are friends. They do know each other. And um, he was just showing his respect. It was a good fight. And he went out and was able to take care of business, even though they were friends. Henry Tillman is all right. The result is not a surprise. The over-under in this fight, as far as length, was two and a half rounds. It does not go one round. Mike Tyson with a big right hand. And Henry Tillman is defeated. Now, the question is, is Mike Tyson back? It, was Henry Tillman a viable opponent? Certainly, Tyson is back to the style that he we were used to seeing prior to the Douglas fight. When Tyson went out there and took control from the, the start of the bell, and he was able to start from where he was depression, make Tillman move when Tillman didn't want to move, then get him a chance to set up, and was able to hit him that big overhand right. Look at Tillman, wide open. Right on the temple. Tillman goes down and unable to get up. That's a good shot. Right, right on the temple, and usually when you get hit with a good shot on the temple, it's hard to it's hard to get back up out the shot like that. I'm used to seeing Tyson land a lot of big left hands, but he used the right hand a lot in this fight. This is the first time I've seen him knock the guy out the right hand. It's the left hook that usually knock on his opponent out. Mike Tyson stalking Henry Tillman from the opening bell. Tillman landed very few punches and did nothing to keep Tyson off of him. Well, Tillman mistake, he let Tyson get off. Uh, he didn't get the respect that he needed to uh, to um, to win the fight. He just didn't get respect. Tyson just walked through him. 29-year-old Henry Tillman, who you'll see in Rocky V when that comes out. He plays a, a role of a contender in that fight. But Mike Tyson back on the winning path. Here's the official announcement. The time, two minutes. 47 seconds of the first round. The winner by a knockout, Iron Mike Tyson. Rich Giacchetti in the corner, working his first fight with Mike Tyson. And certainly Mike has to be very satisfied with what he's done. Yes, he went out, he went out and fought an impressive fight. He fought the fight he usually fought. He, he stalked the man, was able to back him up and corner him and was able to deliver the right hand, which shook him out. As I mentioned earlier, there is talk now of a second 
heavyweight doubleheader in September involving George Foreman and Mike Tyson with Foreman taking on Francesco Damiani and Tyson taking on Alex Stewart another man that you fought a uh, man that you stopped a Tyson Stewart fight might be a very interesting fight well yes a Stewart is a very aggressive young fighter throws a lot of punches which um, he's not intimidated and I fought him and he, he's a very strong kid now what would how about a Tyson Foreman fight is that a viable fight for the future it sure is it would be a great fight but George Foreman is a strong fighter which is Tyson's strong fighter and it will be a big clash because you just don't know what would happen when two big men get there with two big powerful punches and there's talk of that coming on down the road again a look at the knockout the overhand right by Mike Tyson sending Henry Tillman down and out and an impressive performance for Mike Tyson in his first fight back. And I think what I was impressed with, Evander, is uh, that Mike looked strong, firm, and now being to answer for interviewed by Jim tonight. Lantley Were of there HBO. Were questions mind, and if so, did you answer them? No, I didn't, I didn't have much doubt on the situation on the outcome of the fight. It's just that... Um, I was skeptical because I didn't give my best performance. You know what I mean? I had no idea that. I, I knew I was always the same person still. It was just that I was reluctant in the situation and I wasn't professional. And that's not um, characteristic of me. How good know. did this performance feel for you? Well, it helps, you know, to come back and got your win. It helps the confidence. But I, I want to fight as often as I possibly can. How much can you learn from two minutes and 47 seconds? There are some who would contend that maybe you should have taken a tougher opponent and stayed in the ring longer. Well, as you know, like, as Ray know. Um, I'm already an experienced fighter. If I'd have went 10 rounds, I was in good shape to go 10 or 15 rounds. I'm already an experienced fighter. It's just that I prefer to be more um, often active than I have been. Question, Ray? Well, I said earlier that, Mike, that you wanted to get this fight over with as soon as possible. Also, you know, there are people that say, well, it's not as formidable and this shouldn't be a problem. I thought it was an achievement because the fact of the matter is, because he was not considered a formidable opponent, that meant your mind had to be right. And the most, um, when people tell me that this guy's going to be a pushover, that's when I worry. That's when I worry. Like Buster Douglas wasn't supposed to be a pushover. Not making a big issue of it. By no doubt, I'm the best fighter in the universe, and I'm coming back to regain the title. Will it satisfy you to come back in three months against the likes of an Alex Stewart, as appears to be the plan? Perhaps two months. I'm, I'm in great shape. I can fight anyone in Do you the world. think that you made a mistake in the past by not fighting as frequently as you had in the period leading up to when you won the title? Absolutely. People, you know, you, you're put to a claim that all my personal problem. They say, well, he overcame the personal problem. He's still fighting. He's going through the war. But it's not the personal problem. It's the aftermath of the personal problem that really um, catches up because of the, the activity part. You know, you have to, in our business, Ray knows, you have to stay active. You know what I mean? The situation where he was in, he was dropping. You know what I mean? Active. If he was active, that would never happen. Because, as you know, Ray Lay is the best fighter of his generation. Did you see Foreman against Adelson Rodriguez? I didn't watch anything. My main concern was the comment finish off. Henry tell me. All right, Evander Holyfield is going to get the first shot against Buster Douglas. How much is it going to bother you if you had to wait several more months, perhaps even a year or more? I'm going to stay active, but regardless of the issue, it's going to be a tough fight. And after the tough fight, the winner got me. Anything else, Ray? Congratulations, Mike. Thank you, Ray. Congratulations, Mike. I should point out that Mike put Ray in. Mike Tyson, you hear the you heard the post-fight comments. What are your thoughts, Evander? Well, very humble and a. He got straight to the point and say he need to be active to stay sharp. And he, and he said that he went out and fought his fight and he won his fight and he want to get back in the ring as soon as possible. Evander, good luck against Buster Douglas in September. Thank you. That's Evander Holyfield, the number one heavyweight contender. This is Sam Rosen. Thanks for being with us live and exclusive on Sky Movies. That's it from Las Vegas as we watch Mike Tyson's successful comeback.